and welcome to me freaking out. <laughs> so, last week was the release of Animal Crossing, I almost said something else, else and Doom. However, this is my version, this is my freak out, this is the release I've been waiting for. And I am so happy because I never thought this game would exist. So, a couple things I've already found that I love. First off, there's a clock on this. So that tells me I can actually see how much time I've wasted on this game. <laughs> because, for anyone who actually follows me on Twitter, we'll see. If my TV inputs don't change on me, because apparently anytime I press the circle button on my PlayStation, it wants to change over. I am a freak of nature, and I decided I was going to platinum Pirate Warriors 3 for no reason other than I fucking could. <laughs> and legitimately, I could. Pirate Warriors 3 was a much more doable possible all without being egregiously annoying kind of uh, trophy to get at the platinum four i love the pirate warriors games i have played all of them since the first one and so and there wasn't so i'm gonna go back there wasn't a big opening sequence or I may have accidentally skipped over the big cinematic at the start. However, I don't care. I would have had to cut it from the video anyway because those are almost always claimed. And so I may be cutting out on any of the other cutscenes that are actually going to play. So gallery, there is a gallery completion. So that means there will be, and this is for the pre-order unlocks that I unlocked some of the later characters. And there's coins. Coins are a thing. Okay, this is... Okay. Now, depending on how they did the coins, if it's like the last one, then it's fine. But, that's curious. This is also very cute. Be right here. Oh, uh, they need to add more weight on Nami's waist there. Her waist has just gotten smaller and smaller through the years. Oh, it's also the load screen. It's perfect. I love it because it just looks adorable. I'm guessing that's what it was actually doing. You just don't see a bar. I love it so much already. I am a huge One Piece nerd. Oh, they're flipping through a lot of... Okay, they're kind of going the two route right now. This feels a bit like Pirate Warriors 2. In Pirate Warriors 2, they started with a later arc and then did a semi original story with just. A weird gimmick, which I'm fine with. I really... I don't like anime games. Oh my god, that feels so good. Oh. Oh, I didn't see the map. I'm looking in the upper right corner for it and that's not where it is on this one. Aerial actions, press X to jump. Jump was not... oh yeah, that's... that's different. I don't think there was a jump. No, there was no jump. X was a dash 
to get you to run to move faster. I think the only problem is Luffy jumps too high and there's nothing around to actually hit at that height. Uh, coming straight by attacks causing destruction. Some of your attacks will propel down our stun enemies into the air. For the barrier. Okay. I see that. That's not that hard. <laughs> Press circle to perform a power dash that allows you to knock the enemies back while moving. Same number sword gradually while not attacking. Okay. More energy forces have arrived. Strong enemies have an armor gauge. Armor gauge can be reduced with attack. <laughs> Feel like I'm playing Neo. Trying to reduce their key. Which is the other thing I've been playing a lot of. Where is the enemy I'm trying to hit right now? Okay. R3 is still lock on. I think it's easier to get some of the moves I like from the previous one. Oh god, not mama. Oh, there's something weird and pixelated around her neck. <laughs> Can't deal with all those faults. I should not talk because I have my own fault. Good lord, let's get away from mama. Hold on, I'm press either. Ooh! That means you have more? Okay, no, that's not what I was thinking of. What about this one? Okay, yeah, it is kind of. It's this. So the circle is one time. The triangle one, it seems, is your cinematic version. <laughs> Actually, kind of ridiculous. Mo Luffy's moves that is always really just easy to work with, which is super fitting just because he's the main character. character. He's the one you're probably going to play most of your food story, so it's really kind of best to have him be the most easy to get used to. Can I move forward now? Good job. Oh, I had to fight, Mama? Oh yeah, I did hear something about- Oh, fighting giant bosses. The giant bosses with armor gauge can only be reduced when they are mid-attack. When they begin their attack, you use a power dash to dump. Uh, uh, an attack from their blind spot. So basically, get around them and attack when they're. Ah! Wait, how was Power Dash? Full force first again will be gradually while folks are first. Damn it! Okay, Kako. 
台無しにしやがってお前の首取らなきゃ落とし前がつかねえんだだったらお前もここでぶっ飛ばす誰だろうとうわもう逃げねえ最悪の世代生意気なガキどもが俺に立てつくんだね運行がどうしたてめえらを倒す覚悟で俺は海に出たんだ帰ろう。Freaks Nature。ああ、なんなる one。I don't know Kaido's move set. He hasn't really fought in the show yet. Mama, I know her move set a bit more. Also, he also moves more. You auto do that, Luffy. I feel like there should be limits of. This is harder, harder to control, or at least I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it. I'm getting a lot of trophies. Which that will be one thing I do before I end this video is essentially also take a look at what the trophies are and get an idea of if I will even attempt to platinum this. <laughs> It's like I did the last one. It looks so good! You shouldn't look that good. <laughs> oh, good lord, Kaido. The art style definitely seems slightly more. leading even more towards the manga. Like some of the lines. How the lines are. are in the shadings done. Which all four? Orenokubigatoreruとでも思ったのか。お前ら見てなガキが海賊王になるだと。図に乗るな麦わら。俺の下につく気がねえならもういい。二人仲良し。死ねえ。かつて。この世のすべてを手に入れた男、ゴールドロジャー。彼の死に際に放った一言は、人々を海に駆り立てたという。グランドラインの果てにあるというワンピース。その宝を狙い、世界中の海賊が海へと乗り出した。人々はロマンを追い求める。世はまさに大海賊時代。Start at the end, and now back to the beginning. The very beginning. That's actually kind of good. But that also means I'm not gonna have the full move set with Luffy. Oh,、uh, yeah. Oh, they still haven't modeled more of Shanks' crew. It 
it's a small nitpick, but I'd love to see the rest of Shanks' crew modeled. I won't lie, I'd love to see every character modeled. <laughs> every character. And. He did not have abs at the start and he did not wear a shirt open. I'm gonna nitpick! <laughs> no offense to the game. I'm a little nitpicky. Especially when it comes to One Piece. I will also say another nitpick I have towards the anime. It needs to knock it off with the scene with Roger in the beginning of every episode. Frankly, we've all seen it. Anyone who's made it that far has freaking seen it. Not doing online. Wow, you jump right to Alabasta. Okay, so they're skipping over the East Blue Arts, which... Okay, now they reverted Nami back to this. And there's Usopp on the side there, and it looks like they're on the Going Merry now, not the Sunny Go. Which is fine. I'm. It's still. It's very cute menu. Oh, yeah, treasure log. This is a different. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's literally the map from PW3. Okay. Treasure Log. In Treasure Log, you can enjoy various episodes featuring a host of unique characters. Treasure Log episodes are divided into multiple ranks. In the beginning, only East Blue Classes episodes can be played if you have. But if you set aside criteria for each rank, you will be able to challenge higher ranks. Okay. Core episodes. Some episodes. The longs are called core episodes. Core episodes are key to progressing through the treasure long. First, aim to clear the core episodes for your rank. So this is more of a menu-based, which is fine. I'm fine with it being menu-based. Oh, you also clearly get specific coins for completing these logs. I.e., you get the gold Sanji. Sanji, I think that's Post time skip mark? Actually, no, that's most likely pre time skip mark. Mark. And then Grand Line and then New World. This is a good setup, I think. The map was sort of discombobulated in PW3 that it didn't make a whole lot of. It wasn't very cohesive to move through, and when I was doing a lot of the grinding for the last bit that I needed, you know, the guide I was using said bottom right, and it's like, this isn't, I wouldn't consider this area bottom right, I consider it middle right kind of thing. Oh, look at that, it's so good. Okay. Summary, Straw Hat Pirates, Ernst and Vivi head to Alabasta to stop Crocodile's plot, when suddenly a marine appeared before them. Technically, Ace should also show up during this quest. During this mission. 
Yeah, so they're skipping over East Blue in the story log, which I think is okay. Just due to the fact that it's been done in the previous games a lot. So. And since there is so much material, it's like, hey, we can put more energy into this. I will say my only, the only part that I don't like about it is because I really love the Arlong arc. And that's really the only reason I'm somewhat disappointed to not have it. I think the cutscenes from last game. <laughs> That and by having to do that, their feet should be on that barrel. <laughs> I am nitpicky to hell, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm still in love with it. I don't remember her dress being that good, but I love that design for that dress. Maybe that's her... Oh, that might be her new dress. Post time stuff. Oh my god, they also skipped over Chopper! So they jumped right to Alabasta and they completely skipped over Chopper's recruitment too. Wow! I don't think there's much between that. I think there's an encounter with giants. No, I think that's prior to Chopper. Because Nami gets sick while they're... Yeah, Luffy did not have a freaking six pack with a shirt. He might have had a six pack, but he did not wear a shirt open like that. Not complaining. Do I have other costumes? Episode costume, normal. Okay, the only difference is the arm brand. We'll do episode costume. What about Zolo? You got anything different? Yeah, just episode costumes. Yours different? No, you don't have any extra costumes because your arm doesn't show. <laughs> oh wait, so I can pick two to play us? Okay then, if I can, I think I'm just gonna go with Zolo. Hits the floor over the wall, shockwave was sent out. Normally it's just standard to do Luffy, and I'm not against doing Luffy for all on the story stuff, and it might be easier to do some of the ones with them, but I figured at least for this, I'll show off a few other characters. Okay, that's weird. This seems much more detailed. Duh, that's a lie. <laughs> He's a fucking gangster! <laughs> but he is a pirate! Okay, that I'm also going to have a problem with. The subtitling and... 
basically abbreviating Baroque works into BW is not a good thing. Especially when this is the first time you've said Baroque works, you should not be abbreviating it into BW. <laughs> Literally copy paste it. Don't say BW. That is probably my more serious nitpick of this. And granted, anyone watching this who's gotten this far and thinks that these games are good for learning One Piece, don't. I literally just said they skipped over a bunch of arcs. Do not use the games, any of them, and I'm talking for any anime really, to learn the story. I think the only one who I think does somewhat decently in the regard of story to game is probably Kakarot. But still, no. Yeah, Luffy's gone. And frankly, Zola should be gone too. He doesn't stand around and listen. I think he ends up babysitting. No, that was a different arc. Oh yeah, now's around the time that you should be running into Ace. <laughs><笑> とも緊急召集。まあ、Where's your poncho? I want that outfit. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> With joy. <laughs> I love this. These maps are quite different. They're not as blocky, which I would consider a good thing. Because I would consider a lot of the other ones to be kind of. No, they weren't a complete circle, but you had. Give smoker beating. That's not too hard. Rough map. Okay. So this is different. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is way different. Okay, so you have beginning map. Okay. And then there's a locked map, which I guess is beginning Zola map. I'm guessing something, the locked map might be post time skip kind of thing. Okay, I have literally no materials though. This is, but this is neat in that it's very different. Okay, so you need belly and the coin. Which is another difference. Set special moves. Okay, so you can actually change out specials in this regard. Which is fine. Skill set. I don't think I have any skills this lot. Battle information. Enemies. Territory. Yeah, we, there are none. Combo attack list. Lion Song. Hawk. Okay. It 
tells you how to unlock characters. At least ones I get. Okay, I don't know why. You're playable from the start. Oh my god. Yes. I'm gonna have I really want to see his moveset because I'm gonna have fun with it. <laughs> with it. Which I call him Barto. I think my only issue is anytime I start to search him, I also confuse him with Kuma, because his full name is Bartholomew Kuma. Kuma, and this is Bartholomew. Oh, okay. I'm getting very distracted, but let's play Alabasta. Oh, it jumps straight into it. Oh, that was fun. When you log a character activates ability and changes their appearance, normal attacks cannot deal any damage by putting in an armor break state, you will be able to cause damage to them directly. Okay, I can see where my PS4 going nuts. Fan is blazing. Okay. What the hell is the black stuff on my arm? This is a big area, which seems like the territory area. Capture the desert town. Yeah, this is a big area. It's like a giant territory. Oh, chest Oh, there's a treasure chest over here, which that has me worried. It's marked on the map, though. Treasure chest open, various items drop, small chance. Okay. I am going to be concerned. Okay. Let it just be gold and belly and potential healing items. Like high value healing items and belly. Because straight away if there are random chance gold coins and shit, then that they've literally downgraded themselves. But that was one of the big issues, at least I felt, with both 1 and 2. Primarily I think 2, I don't remember as much in 1. But random chance coin drops in 2, I tried to platinum that one as well. And I just didn't have the heart because I was grinding the same levels over and over again. Because they were a random chance and you could get duplicates. Which was something they took out of three. Great. Bronze coins, you got duplicates of. Other coins, you did not. Okay. Where the hell did you open up that gate? Yes. Hey. Okay, wait. Not over there. I see where it is. There it is. Leave Luffy the frick alone. 
供の頃使ってた抜け道があるよあそこなら海軍には見つからないはずよ This whole area is now another zone. Kind of missing some of the special attacks. Okay. Ah, crap. Usopp's in danger. Usopp's in danger! Stuck back here. Sanji. There we go. Oh, the subs was done. Okay, yeah, the subs was done. Um, okay, now it looks like there's another mark. Okay, yeah, there is still one. Okay. There's still one more. Oh god. Sanji, you can't enter combat with a lady. It never works. Chopper's done. Oh, okay. I think I like that. That the zones don't just have to be for buildings. I think we just captured that area as well. You two don't. Like any board of this game. Okay, come on. Hmm. I feel like it's giving. Oh god, she just... Auto moves that location. Okay. And another treasure chest over here. That's good. Now, we've all gone to the retreat point. Which I don't think this is it.
Mm -hmm. This mission is done. And now it's Mugger. Now it's a party. Fighting airborne enemies. Airborne enemies in midair can be dropped to the ground by putting in them an armor breaker and knocking them out. Also by locking on with R3, you can form power dash and some of these will in the direction of the lock on target knock. Knock enemies to the ground with an aerial combos or special technique. We blew up the building. Shit. Oh shit. Thank you. Focus on the soccer. Not a whole lot of damage happening. Granted, I am so used to playing with end level. End level characters. Okay, this is never. Okay, probably need to maybe also take out. Okay, you take out. Okay, yeah, that was properly catching her in there. What are the black spots on the ground? I'm hoping it's one of these up to move. And I think it's one of these up to move. Dummy eyes. Okay. Now the mission. Now I think it's over. お前の兄貴。俺の兄ちゃんだ。エースは俺より三つ上だから三年早く島を出たんだ。しかし、兄弟揃って悪魔の身を食っちまってるとは。とにかく強いんだ。エースは。勝負して一回も勝ったことなか
こいつはどうも皆さんうちの弟がいつもお世話にいや全くとにかくまあ会えてよかった<笑>ほらこれをお前に渡したかったあっああっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ出来の悪い弟を持つと兄貴は心配なんだよお前らもこいつには手役だろうがよろしく頼むよもう行くのか、うん、ああ俺は今重罪人を追ってる最近は黒ひげを持ってる I forgot he was already after Blackbeard during this arc もともとは白ひげ海賊団二番隊隊員俺の部下だ奴は海賊船で最悪の罪仲間殺しをして船から逃げた隊長の俺が始末をつけなきゃならねえそんなことでもねえ限り俺はこの国を逆走した次に会う時は海賊の高みだ Granted, Blackbeard There are very few characters I think I legitimately hate from One Piece Blackbeard's at the top of the list <laughs> Absolutely. Big Mama. Very close, number two. But I do think it, Ink One Piece does something with its villains that I think is somewhat and unique in that they make them still interesting and fun characters. I need a level. Crew. Oh, God. Crew points during the battle will increase crew levels of members who fought together with you. As your crew level increases, you will earn valuable coins and new growth maps. Okay. That's crew levels was what I had to max out to do the platinum for PW3. So now it seems like the crew levels is not just tied to that, but it's also tied to actually maxing out the character. Which is better, in my opinion. Bonus from skill. I don't know what I mean. Uh, defeat strong enemies to get bronze coins and silver coins for that enemy. Winning battles you can earn you allied silver coins. The higher your screw levels are, the more silver coins you can earn. Precious gold coins can be earned as a battle clear reward. Okay. So gold coins are for clearing battles, which is good. So it's distinctly clearing battles. Uh, silver coins are... Getting higher levels with your crew members. And bronze and silver coins are for also. Bronze coins and silver coins are defeating enemies. So, yeah. Like I got silver coins with all the characters. Bronze coins of belly and navigation and the snail. Well, which it seems like those were the only ones showing up as bronze. But there are probably more and then. The gold one of Vivi for completing this battle. Okay. If certain conditions are met, new characters will become available all to play in free log. You can check the conditions for unlocking them in the character unlock condition list on the pre battle screen or pause screen. By continuing from the game, some characters will become available to play with new clear episodes. Clear new episodes and aim to unlock all the characters. Sandy is unlocked. I wonder if he jumps straight into the next one. Ah, oh, so you're looking at the Alabasta arc. Okay, this is also a very good difference. Okay, so that's the last I'm going to show of Pirate Warriors 4, but I do want to take a look back at Pirate Warriors, do a little bit more look around, and then even do a look over Pirate Warriors 3, 
a just to show some of the comparisons. So this is now free log. So basically, click on it. You can play with anybody. Oh yeah, these are all unlocked. There's supposedly a count of 43 playable characters. I am hoping that all the King W3 characters have carried over still. Let's take a look at the gallery again. So encyclopedia, coin guide. Yeah, these are all, it seems. They'll be collecting for bronze. And then these are all the character coins. And these are both the probably character. character yeah, race, George Crew level of five. I have clear specific logs. Get to five. Five. And these are, I guess, special treasure log, log locks. So. Gonna look at two things, and that is PW3 and the, and the trophy list. And we're gonna take a look at the trophy list first. Currently 10% done, and I'm gonna assume all these here are just clearing story bits. So achieve battle grade S in any episode, that's probably something we're gonna have to do for all the episodes at some point. Uh, unlock at least 25% of the galley, 75%. Okay, does not say, not seem to be 100% gallery unlock. Uh, collect 100 million belly or more in total. That's probably fairly reasonable. Collect 50 types of coin or more. Or, so you only have to get 50 different coins, which seems very doable. I want to say that this is it just due to the fact that it's sectioned this way. Normally, trophies of a similar type are grouped together. Like, these collect 10 or more playable characters, 30 or more playable characters, um, one character's crew level maxed out, 20 or more characters' crew level maxed out. Then it also seems like you don't need to get all the character crew levels maxed out. Require scales, 1, 20. One of your skill levels has maxed out. Out one character's action growth level has maxed out. One character's special moves have all maxed out. Acquire the, all the islands from the beginning map. You want to battle with a speed type character for the first time. Technique character. Sky type. Yeah, these I already got earlier and I didn't know what they were for. Use a special kill for the first time. Defeat your first enemy with a using a full burst force. Defeat your first enemy while in form change. Uh, you stayed airborne for at least 10 seconds. That one might be slightly trickier, but probably with one of the skybound enemies, it might be easier. Um, use power dash a thousand times or more. Toppled 10,000 enemies during a full, full force burst. Toppled 100,000 foes. And total stage object storage has exceeded a thousand. This actually seems extremely doable. It doesn't seem like you have to completely max out anything. You just have to get a majority of it. So this is probably another platinum I will be seeking. And now taking a look at PW3 because I want to do show off some of the comparisons. Literally, I think they reused some of the models from some of those cutscenes that they had. Which is fine. These are fairly high quality models and I'm completely fine with, and with them. Am I literally, I think, had tears in my eyes when I first watched the cutscenes from these games. From this specific one, just because it had the level of detail to have lines in the straw hat. From where Buggy stabbed it in that arc in the very early parts of the series that was then later sewed by Nami. This is the menu for or PW3. So similarly you have the story mode which is Legends Log. And this is basically one gameplay sequence per an arc. 
show you a buggy the clown. Um, so this is all the East Blue area. But doing it this way is very limiting. You have you're basically forced tying things together. You probably are having the maps are a lot larger. Larger and basically some sections get completely ignored until the latter halves and you can sort of tell where it's going because hey we never went over to this area. All the enemies are gonna spawn into the section eventually. So this the compartmentalizing down into smaller mini battles, I think is definitely a great option for getting more detailed and the fact that they eliminated doing at least it seems for the story arc stuff the east blue areas that probably means they could do a little bit more with those and still make east blue maps for those um treasure log areas which the treasure log is the dream log here and yeah, I locked out the characters again because I did the final map. So let's do it with Luffy. Actually, no. No, wait, she's locked. Okay, Luffy it is. <laughs> I was going to do Perona because she was my first character that I still kind of haven't maxed out yet. Which I did show this off prior in one of my streams, but this is basically the map for this place. And so it's very haphazard, you're running around, so I do like the idea of it being a menu to just sift through. Ooh, and very easy to see. Oh, I need still need to do this one. I didn't get the rank I needed in it kind of thing. Cause this one you had to do S rank everything. So that's also potentially a factor in the other one. And now for the coins. So Treasure coins. So the coins in this version were all the browns were simply characters. So you would collect them from defeating or playing with them. And the only one that was really a pain to get was ores. Only pain to get because you basically got them one way by clearing the good lord. I'm blanking on the name of the arc. But defeating them in- oh, Thriller Park. Thrill Bark Arc. So defeating him in the Thrill Bark Arc gave you these coins. And then these were all the special ones. The random drops, but these were also fixed in not being a um, multi spawn. Once it's unlocked, it's unlocked. You would never get a repeat. So you would just not get a gold coin on the random chance ones. And sometimes. So, that's it for, oh wait, let's also show off, dream log, continue, oh wait, no, let's do it from here, just because I can show off more, the crew level list, this is basically what unlocked with the crew level list, and it's, and it's basically just, this helps you unlock all the voice and gallery things up there, models on all which is what I needed for the final trophy, which was basically just getting all the models and voices. So some things aren't checked off and that's mostly just because they're also related to a skill list. List of one of these and because I haven't gotten the prior one, some of the other ones that followed didn't unlock. And next, uh, use coins. And then, so this is also how coins were used. Coins were used in this sort of menu fashion of here's the life. And originally, it was not like this. It was more, it progressed into the gold. The gold were only used and higher level of bronze numbers were only used after you got to the later levels. Like this one actually wasn't even too bad, but Sabo and Shanks were more rare at the beginning. Like this one used 15. I mean, I am maxed of everything now, so 
everything's been maxed out, but like these were all gold. Gold and using specific character coins. Coins. And usually when it was a character that doesn't show up a lot and it's not playable, like Minotaurus, those were hard to get. So that's sort of a comparison look at PW3 from PW4. That is all. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. This is going to be most of my weekend. If not more Neo 2. So. And while this is not going up. Same day I record it. You will be seeing this hopefully very soon. So. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.